What is good everybody, welcome back to my channel. Here in this video, as always, I'm going to be going over how to make money solo in GTA 5 online. If you guys are new to my channel, drop a like on the video, share the video, and subscribe, that would always be appreciated. Also, leave a comment down below as well if you guys are new or you've been watching my videos, that would be appreciated as well. But anyway you guys, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So this money making method is going to require an office, so the cheapest one is 1 million, I recommend going with that one, location doesn't matter. Once you guys do have an office, all you want to do is make your way to the computer. So anyway, once you are on the computer, go to Special Cargo and then go to Warehouse Map. I recommend buying the cheapest small warehouse, which is only 250k. Now I recommend getting the small one because honestly, it doesn't take very long to fill it up. So when you guys do finally buy one, you just want to go ahead and click on your warehouse and then start sourcing crates, but I like doing it from the terabyte. Now I keep my terabyte at my warehouse, so when I do come back with the product, I can just go in my terabyte and then start sourcing more. Now I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of my setup real quick. I have my terabyte parked right next to my small warehouse. Now what's pretty awesome about my warehouse, it's got a ladder that leads to the rooftop, so if I want to use my chopper, I can, and I can get product a lot faster. If you guys don't have a terabyte, I do recommend buying one, you do have to have a nightclub to store the terabyte. Having a terabyte is going to make everything a lot faster for you, that way you don't have to go back and forth between the office and the warehouse. Now I'm not going to be sourcing anything here in this video, I'm just going to sell what I have in my warehouse. Now my warehouse is not full, I only have 11 crates in here out of 16, so I'm doing this because I want to make sure I can get one vehicle. So as you guys can see, I got one plane and all I have to do is take this plane to the drop off. So all I had to do was land the plane at the drop off, but once I did land the plane, there was a bunch of NPCs here, and yeah, they took me out, but however, all I had to do was take them all out, and then I finally got paid. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys do like, share, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications that way you guys don't miss any of my daily dope GTA 5 online content. God bless you guys, and see you in my next GTA 5 online video.